all started here in the parking lot of this brother's gas station on Airline Highway just before 9 last night. At the time, undercover narcotics officers were conducting an investigation that involved two men, including 31-year-old Eldrin Smart. They approached on foot. Uh, it wasn't a vehicle stop. These people were in, in the uh, parking lot when the uh, detectives uh, approached them. With guns drawn, two officers approached on either side of the car. Police say the passenger in the car, who has not been identified, cooperated with the officers. But the driver did not. And that's when the officer on the passenger side of the car reached in to turn off the engine. As the officer was leaning into the car to grab for the keys, the driver of the car, Smart, pulled the car into reverse and then fled down the street with the officer still inside the car. He hit three or four garbage cans as he was coming down the street, so it was making a big, loud, loud noise. Police say as Smart sped away, he was hitting the officer, and that's when the officer fired off four shots, hitting Smart three times in the torso and once in the head. These are split-second decisions. This isn't something that, uh, you know, you have to wait for something bad to happen before you act. Seconds later, the car crashed into a parked truck. The pickup truck that was parked was rammed into from here, and it pushed the truck up. And he was underneath there, and the truck was standing straight up in the air like this. Smart was pronounced dead on the scene, and both the passenger in the car as well as the officer were rushed to the hospital. The passenger suffered a broken arm and is still hospitalized after undergoing surgery. The officer, who suffered a neck injury, has since been treated and released. Jacqueline Kelly, Eyewitness News. Chief Caraway says the officers who have both been with the department for more than 10 years acted accordingly. The officer who fired his gun is on paid administrative leave, which the chief says is standard for all officer-involved shootings. Once complete, the internal investigation will be sent to the DA for review.